Dear Muji, the question you ask brings tears to my eyes. I would very much like to know who I am. Jayesh, lovely to see you. Thank you for being here. Very nice. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. You write that the question you ask, meaning myself, the question you ask brings tears to my eyes. I would very much like to know who I am. Mm -hmm. Since March, I have spent some time each day asking myself this question, and I would like to go further. I am looking forward to spending this time with you. Thank you, Jayesh. You see, and the question is, who am I? You see, isn't it? Who am I? Yes. Who is going to receive the answer? This is the thing. You see. Who is going to receive the answer? If I gave the answer today, God comes, suppose God comes today and said, Look, I'm going to give you the answer. Who is going to receive the answer, David? Uh, Jaya. <laughs> Me. Yes, yes. Which, <laughs> which is what? <laughs> How are you going to know if it's the right answer? How are you going to know if it's the right answer? I'll feel it in my heart. Yes. Yeah. What is your heart feeling at this very moment? <laughs> very excited. Very excited. Happy to meet you. Ah, sure. Okay. Okay. This I know. So that aside, that's nice. What else is inside your heart? My my deepest wish would be able to see another human being. Simply as a human being, without um, without any projections, without my judgments, without all the that human being you want you want to see it would be start with yourself uh, to see uh, another human being, or say I just want to see myself without any judgment, without any projection. So this you can do if you ask him your best friend. You know, uh, what they, they can't do it. You can do it, because you want it. So you have no projection, <laughs> no judgment uh, about, uh, about anything at all, not even just a human being. If you had no projection, right, right now it's possible also. Uh, just hold, on, hold on to no projection, no idea, no idea that you want things to be a certain way. Just empty, empty, flush everything out, flush everything out for a moment. And actually you can do this, in fact. Empty, empty, empty. First, let's get empty, 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 empty. Yes, uh, no, okay. No? So, even if things want to come back in, no, no, no. Empty, empty. Be so empty. What, what, how empty can you be? Empty of every idea, everything past. No, I can't say erase them, but I can say leave them aside for a moment. So just actually, this is easier than we think. Actually, just leave everything away, leave everything aside, and really do it. If everything can be taken out, everything that you have learned, everything that you have understood, every idea, every desire is just taken out for a moment, it's left aside, empty, empty, empty. Okay. What remain now? Don't use your mind. Just you are here. You are here, isn't it? Can I take you away? I take your thoughts. I take your feelings. I take your memory. I take your desires. Take your attachments. I take your background. Take everything away. Something is remain that uh, I cannot take away. Yeah, you don't need imagination for this. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I, I, you know, when this question came to me, was one time I, uh, uh, I met one man uh, many years ago when I was working in the market. I was selling incense. A man came to me, incense man, can I buy some incense? Give me a nice flavor. Yeah, he says, give me, a, give me your best flavor. So I was burning an incense stick. 
And I said, what about this one? Smell this one. He says, no, I, 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 I can't smell. So I said, why are you buying incense if you can't smell? So, so he said, actually, it's not for me. You know, it's for my. I, I have a new relationship. But what happened is that I want to show my my girlfriend that I care because I I'm a builder at work, and then I would take off my clothes, and so I show her that if I get some incense to make the place me nice, you know. So I said, oh, you 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 always couldn't smell. And he said, "No, no, no. I, I used to be able to smell, and um, but I had a motorbike accident, and I I was out for a while. And then at, so that's the first thing. And then one time my ears became blocked, and they became so blocked. After a while, I couldn't hear. I was I was in London at the time, and it was like it was like a black and white movie, old time, no sound, everything. It was beautiful for a while." Then I started to question this man who could not smell. I look at him. I cannot see. I see his full. I feel his full being and presence. And I feel my full being and presence without hearing. What if we kept on subtracting the the taste? I couldn't taste. I would still be here to say I can't taste. If I say to my eyes, I say, yeah, I would still be here to say I can't see. If I say. Um, uh, I can't hear, I can't taste, I can't smell, I can't feel. Somebody's stroking, I say, I can't feel. But I'll still be here to say, I can't feel. So if everything I don't remember, everything is here, but something will be here to witness the absence of all these things. What is this? It's still here. It's you. But it's not the you who developed in life and became an engineer or an artist or something like that. That also can come and go. Before all these things, something is here. Before the senses and the mind. That's why you can observe your mind and say, Oh, my mind is very busy, my mind is tired, my body is tired, because it is here before all these things. And it is still here. That 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 is yourself. <laughs> but when we develop through the mind an idea, an identity about ourselves, then the mind wanted to become a certain kind of self, and when that didn't work, wanted to become another kind of self, when it becomes something else, and all of these also appeared in front of you, and you perceived them. But there was no real change in your fundamental nature. You see. And if you begin for the first time to just pay attention without creating, what is don't pay attention to all the other things. What is really here? Just keep quiet and just pay attention. Don't create. And you will recognize the obvious thing. You will see that yourself is here before anything in the world appears. It is here. Even before the idea came that you wanted to know it, you are here. Everything else is a version of yourself, and all versions are unstable, are ever-changing, observed in the unchanging. And yes, I am saying this now, and as you become more familiar with this, a great silence comes inside your being. A great peace and joy arises from within you. It's as though this natural, the natural self has been eclipsed by a constructed idea of yourself, using the mind and time and memory to create a, a very changeful sense of self, but behind it is the unchanging, but it is not a shape. And by the end of this mm, this short retreat, many of you will get it. That 
you'll know. And still, even after you recognize, ha ha, the mind will still come, but you will overcome him. The mind will still come, but you will you will feel the you your the perfume of your of your reality of yourself will be so beautiful to you. The silence and the peace, the joy, the fearlessness will come in you. It will be coming more and more. And you will discover the real beloved is your own self. It's not personal. Any number of persons you can be, and even later to become, but yourself you can only be. And you are here discovering this. And I'm with you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Stay with it. Stay with it. It is not a mental picture you have to hold on to. It's just somehow uh, removing these subtle layers of misunderstandings that seem to hide, say, seem to hide. Because when you wake up to the truth of yourself, you will see that it was always, always present, but it was not obvious to yourself because so much attention was given to your sense of personhood. This is the beauty of this time together. And of course, sometimes mind is going to come and try and give you trouble. It's going to come in the same old ugly ways, or even seemingly beautiful ways, to entice you off the track of your own self-tracking. But uh, don't worry. Soon it will be too late for him. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I am very happy that there are human beings who are coming to this ripening inside their own consciousness, coming to see with this liberating clarity, to see that which cannot be seen through the senses and the mind, to recognize that you are what you have been seeking and now discovering. But don't turn that into some mental exercise. I am with you, and we we look together. But the the experiencing will be all your own, you see. So I want to take just um, a few minutes just to sit with you, um, and uh, enjoy, savor this moment uh, together. Uh, as we come to a close for the uh, first session of Satsang today. And I am very pleased that you have not run away. Your mind didn't cause you to run, run away. But you are here, uh, bathing in your own presence, and uh, coming to deeper and deeper understanding, experientially, of what I am pointing. 